if you use Excel, you might have a worksheet that you want to copy. And this works the same whether you're using Windows or a Mac. So down the bottom here, I've got three sheets here, and I want to make a copy of sheet three that I happen to be on at the moment. If I simply want to add a sheet, a new one, I just click on new sheet here, and it just adds that in. It's coming up sheet five because I actually had sheet four and deleted it. But that's why this numbering seems a bit off. So let's go back to sheet three. Two ways I can do this. One, I can right click. I can go to move or copy. And the key thing if I'm copying is to click here on this create a copy, tick that box. It's putting it into book one. If I had another book open, I could copy it into there or into a new book. So I could just select that. So you don't have to copy it to inside the same one, but it does default to going into that same one. I want to put it before sheet number five, so directly after sheet three. So I'm going to click there. So that's putting it before, and it actually says before sheet. I could just move it to the end if I like. All I have to do now is just click on OK, and it makes a copy. Now the other way I can do this is just simply by holding down a key on the keyboard and clicking and dragging. So on the PC, I hold down Control, and on the Mac, I hold down the Alt key. I click, and you'll see that as I start dragging, a little page symbol comes up with a plus sign in it. Keep that key held down, move it to wherever you want it to go, and when you let go of the mouse or trackpad, it pops it in there. You can now let go of the Control or Alt key on the keyboard. If I didn't have the Control key held down, it would just move it. So if I just click and drag, you see it just moves it. I can, in the middle of doing this, hold down the Control key and it becomes a plus sign and copies it. If I let go, it's not going to make a copy, which is why you have to let go of the mouse or trackpad first. So I'm just going to move it now and just put it over there. So that is how you can make a copy and actually move a worksheet in Excel.